What we're going to do in this video is add 48,029 to 233,930. And like always, pause this video and I really encourage you to try to figure it out on your own and let's see if we get the same answer. And if we don't, why? All right. So the way I'm going to tackle this, I assume that you've, you've had a go at it. I'm going to take the larger number, I'm going to write it on top. I'm really doing the standard method. There's multiple ways where you can add multi-digit numbers, but what I'm going to do is really the most typical method. And then I'm going to write the smaller number below it, but I'm going to match up the place values. So I'm going to write the ones place in the same column as the ones place on the top number. So this is the 10,000s place, so 48,000 and 29. So nine is nine ones, zero ones, two tens, three tens, so on and so forth. And now I am ready to add. So let's start in the ones place. And if I'm adding numbers, it's always a good idea to start in the ones place. Zero ones plus nine ones is nine ones. And then I can go into the tens place. Three tens plus two tens is five tens. This is going well. All right, then I go to the hundreds place. Nine hundreds plus zero hundreds, well that's just gonna be nine hundreds. So far, so good. All right, now something interesting is gonna happen in the thousands place. Three thousands plus eight thousands, well that would be eleven thousands. But we can rewrite eleven thousands as one thousand and one ten thousand. Sometimes you might see this described as carrying the one. Three plus eight is 11, where you carry the one. But all you're really doing is regrouping. Three plus 3,000 plus 8,000 is 11,000. We write the 1,000 here, and then you write the 10,000 right over there in the 10,000 place. And now, so we have one 10,000 plus three 10,000s plus four 10,000s. So one plus three plus four, that's eight 10,000s or 80,000. And then last but not least, we have these 200 thousands right over there, and we're done. 281,959. Did you get the same answer?